That was supposed to be a funny joke. It's hard to entertain on your own. Sweet. I've got this, um, this screw. It's a screwy screw. What I do today? I slept until 10, missed my morning class, stayed in my pajamas all day, I ate breakfast, went back upstairs, watched YouTube for a while. Dig is in the chat. Dig, how do you find these things? How? Yeah, um... Then I showered at like 12, and I missed my other class that I could have gone to. I'm not very responsible. But it's alright, both of those classes I'm like easing, so... Or at least one of them I am. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So, alright. Ness versus Mario. Uh, let's get into things. Alright, um... I feel like I've seen these guys play before, but I forgot. It's probably one time. So, AFW is seated higher here. He's seated second. Um, I've seen him beat Zaphros before, but Zaphros has beaten him as well, so this is pretty even. Alright, that back air leading to the F tilt. But AFW gonna get out of that combo. Build up his own damage, use that up B to continue things. Waited a bit long to get that yo-yo. Uh, Ooh, the forward smash. Zaphros is like... So you're trying to mix me up here with those uh, spot dodges and stuff? I'm just going to forward smash you. I know what you're going for. So Zaphro's got AFW in the air. He's going to miss that up smash, though. Great spacing from AFW, baiting out that out of shield option. Was able to get out of it. Now Zaphro's on the ledge. But Zaphro's is back air, going to push AFW in. Both of them trying to cross each other up, regain some footing. Stock's going to be taken soon. AFW, though, he's got Zaphros in the corner. Zaphros going to get under there. That backer's going to push him off stage. What a great side magnet to catch that uh, fireball. And a great recovery as well. Zaphros continuing to hold on to his advantage, but AFW avoiding death at every turn. He's at 164. He could have grabbed there. What is he doing? Oh, that fair, that weak, that, uh, weak hit fair is actually going to take it. Probably more likely to take it than Sweet Spot, because Sweet Spot spikes. And he wasn't offstage. So AFW, in a situation where he has to take this stock now. But Zephyr is going to start off these combos. That's a quick... Oh, okay, he's keeping it going. Quick 80%, all the extra credit. But that back, you're going to do it. He's got the full hop knockback. But Zaphros has got a quite the lead on him. That was a great air dodge to avoid the fair, though. <laughs> AFW finally taking a bit of damage, but it was a trade, so now he's in the corner. That was a great reaction to Zaphros charge and up smash there. Oh, the combo's coming up from AFW. Zaphros, though, not really at a percent that's going to uh, lead to much. Finally, that down smash, though, from Zaphros is going to take AFW second stock. AFW has even more of a lead to make back here. He's got to get his uh, momentum going. Zaphros is just sitting chill right now. Has a great PK fire. It's going to put Zaphros to the edge, but Zaphros jumping right over AFW. AFW missing that fair. Or up air, sorry. Oh, the up air going to try and get the drag down into grab. Not going to work out. Zaphros definitely at kill percent. If AFW can take this stock now, it would definitely prove to be an even here. And the drag down going to work that time. He's going to get the grab into the back throw. Now we're at about an even game. If AFW can get some sort of combo here like he's about to, no. Zaphros going to air dodge right out of that. Ooh, great catch on the air dodge. 
Ooh, oh no, it's not gonna space correctly. Low shield on Zapros. He's got uh, AFW has to recover though. The dash attack's gonna two frame. AFW off stage. No, he's not able to recover there, so Zapros is gonna take game one. AFW definitely bringing it back in the end. Uh, he had a rough, you know, when when Zapros was able to build up all that extra credit, he had a hard time uh, to bring it back, but um, he managed to do so. So let's see where the counter pick is. Mm -hmm. I'm goaded. I will be at AM tomorrow, unless I'm grinding. What? He wants an autograph? Do you, do you want to see? Do you, oh, wait, I showed you, right? Yeah, I showed you the thing he found. He found a... He found... In video footage, yeah, I'm telling the chat here. So, this is uh, Hungrybox, a Smash God documentary. And it has... Um, it has video from SmashCon, and it shows me passing through the vision. I don't know how Dig finds these things. He finds me everywhere on the internet. I don't understand how. <laughs> when my name's not even in it. <laughs> like, all right, so we're going into game number two, though. AFW switching the Roy. I don't think the... Oh my god, Zafro starting up these big combos. Not able to get much off of that jab lock, though. AFW really finding a hard time gaining his foot and getting some sort of combo started. I feel like Roy is one of those characters. Uh, sorry, not Roy. Mario is one of those characters where you'd rather go Krom against than uh, Roy. Though, I mean, his uppy is pretty gimpable, especially with the water, uh, with Flood. Um, I think neutral is definitely a bit easier. Oh my god, Zafros is all over Anthem AFW. That was a pretty sick combo, actually. AFW trying to get something started. I don't know if this Roy pick has been working out. I mean, that was a very quick zero to death on the second stock. That flood came right in time. Uh, AFW is trying to get a sneaky kill in with that side B. All right, now Zafros off stage. AFW has the chance to do something, but Mario Uppy, I think he's got invincibility on it. I'm not quite sure. Don't don't quote me on that. AFW getting really hasty with these kills, and Zafros taking full advantage of that. He's just building up this damage. Oh my God, gets the air dodge read. Zafros has been on fire lately. Actually, he beat Epo last week, uh, Thursday, I believe, or was it the week before? One of those two. Um, and Epo usually beats him, so. I remember Zephyrus, uh, after that set, was saying something about, like, he figured something out. And, uh, maybe he's figured something out in just his gameplay in general. And, uh, we might see, like, a DZ level, um, you know, what's the word? Level up. You know, the, the, uh, awaited level up. The Awakening. Because, you know, DZ, DZ was sitting at that level where he'd get really close against top players um, and, you know, it'd be up in the air whether he wins or loses against, you know, a player of, like, Epo's caliber, or, like, AFW's caliber. Because, um, like, Epo, I would say, is more consistent um, than Zafros, but Zafros did beat him last week, and he's on the road here to beating AFW. AFW, though, switching back to Ness. Hmm. It's not even that, um, it's the fact that AFW has beaten Zephyrus before, and, e and uh, this is a pretty, like, not one-sided, maybe one-sided, especially that last game, but Zephyrus's punish game has been on point. A level more than just combos, just his reads in general have been really good. I want to see AFW try and punish some of Zephyrus's defensive options, but he can't even land, so, uh, Zephyrus gonna take his first stock, and AFW... Has to really amp it up here if he wants to uh, even take this game. He's got to figure out how to win neutral here. That's a great air dodge. Oh, great fade back as well. AFW narrowly avoiding the fair and then the up smash. <coughs> Both of them trading some hits here. 
I need to be trying to get a forward smash there. I don't know what he's doing. He should probably run up forward smash, tries to buffer the forward smash, and he just didn't get the Foxtrot. Ooh, great spot dodge. All right, AFW, being aware of what side Zephyrus is going to come down from, was able to take that, but he's got to build up this damage fast here because he's at death's door against Zaphros. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, he's got it, though. He messed up his... Uh... Okay, that was great two-frame from Zaphros with that dash attack. Missing that grab. He doesn't want to die here. Because if he dies here, it's back to square one. Ooh, that was a great grab. Great pivot grab. Good read from Zaphros. He didn't get the timing quite right. Zaphros not able to two-frame there. He was not able to react to that uh, air dodge. A right, great wait from AFW. This is what he needs to bring it back here. But that back here, that's going to put AFW on set stock here. And Zafro starting up some combos. AFW needs to take the stock right now. Oh, that was a great wait, and the dash attack. That's going to do it! AFW has brought things back. He's trying to figure things out now. But he can't take it too hastily. He's got the momentum. He just needs to keep it going. He's got to not get hit by these big Zaphros combos. And right there, we got the juggle! Oh, alright. AFW! Ooh, the up smash, though, gonna hit him out of that PK Thunder. Now he's off stage. I don't think he has a double jump. It was a great recovery, though. In the corner, that fair is gonna help him out, though. He did survive a really long time last stock. Nice catch with the up air. Is that gonna do it? It is! AFW! Just making that game, making that comeback. He's going to continue things. Zephyrus, though, he's got two games. He's not sweating, and it's his counter pick. So we got to see what AFW is going to ban, and we'll see uh, what Zephyrus picks. Wait, you can do targets on FD as a song? That's crazy. Did Dig say where he got the uh, HBox thing from, or did he just catch it? He was watching the video anyway. Sure, sure, dig. Anyway. <laughs> uh, so we're going to Smashville. This is Zaphros' counterpick, but I'm sure uh, AFW feels pretty good on this stage. So I think this is a pretty even stage for them. So let's see where this leads to. Actually, I don't know how Ness is on Smashville. I don't know what Ness's bad stages are. All right, AFW starting up these combos. He gets the PK fire. He's going to push Zephyrus in the corner. That's a great pivot grab to catch the... Uh... Oh, wait a minute. Zephyrus unable to recover. AFW taking the quick stock there. Not quite a zero to death, but pretty close. Zephyrus upbeat a bit early. I think he was trying to get some sort of read that AFW was going to go out there or something. Or it was just an execution flub. Even so, AFW's got quite a lead here. And based off of last game, he was surviving super long against Zaphros. AFW playing a super solid offense, but it's Zaphros' turn. He's going to get this juggle. Ooh, tries to go for a forward smash rate. Not going to work out. Now he's in a bad situation. And going to get caught by that fair. Caught jumping out of shield there. The Uppy, though, going to push AFW off stage. Zaphros' turn to ledge trap. AFW going to get right out of the corner. He's going to get the drag down up air. And the back throw. That's going to do it. AFW with a two-stock lead now. AFW has definitely put the momentum in his court. Oh, he misses the dare. 
Zafros unable to recover there. AFW with a quick three stock. Zafros needs to regain his footing. He had all of the lead. But, I mean, at least he has the counter pick next game. I don't know if Smashville didn't work. It was just AFW was really pushing his combos really far. And Zafros had two big flubs there. First stock and the last stock that ended early. I think we're going back to Smashville. It's just like Zafros needs to regain his composure. And he needs to start getting those reads on AFW again. And he can't really fault in the disadvantage. All right, so we're at game five. Mm. Oh, that back air. Not going to get it. Zafro's trying to go for these reads that AFW is going to wait. But, uh, oh, so yeah, that, that, um... That uppy there, I think that's what he was going for that first time. But the PK Thunder is going to gimp him. AFW already with a big lead once again. His momentum really pushing further and further. So I think AFW is playing a lot more offensive, uh, or a lot more heavy on the aggression. Zafro is finally going to get that Thorge smash. Realizes AFW is just mashing in, and he's able to get it off of there. Going to hit him with the PK Thunder. So now Zafros though, in the corner. And he's got to build up some damage with some sort of combo here. But AFW continuing to put on that pressure. Put on that damage. That PK fire going to catch him. But Mario's up. going to go right through that yo-yo. Ooh, the shield pressure. Great weight from Zafros. He's still going to get hit, but he's not going to get shield broken. He's not going to get hit out of that. And now the combos are coming. AFW though landing. The Nair's gonna push Zafros off stage. Zafros is living really long though. As long as he isn't dying. No, never mind. He's gonna get red with that shield. And he's gonna get grabbed with the back throw. That's gonna kill. Oh, Zafros going for a heavy read there with that down throw into fair. Not gonna hit. But he's gotta get this kill here. He is on his set stock. AFW, though, pushing this really far. Oh, he's going to hit himself. Zafros unable to recover with that up. AFW with the two-stock. The reverse 3-0. Oh, AFW going to take it and move on into winner's finals. Yeah, so AFW just figured some stuff out. Was really the push, uh, really able to push his advantage further. He got all the pressure he needed on Zafros. And Zafros with a few flubs and disadvantage. Um... AFW was able to take